one of the major questions I always get asked is what is a good view editing program on Linux now by I mean good I mean they mean user friendly and easy to use easy to do okay and now I have an answer for them um, Kden live this new update is much better okay now they still have bugs but overall it's better to me so I do recommend it now I'm gonna show you how to install it but for those people that has the unstripped packages uh, in the MIDI Ubuntu or the FFmpeg um, this one is not for you because this is a little tricky to install if you have those already uh, on your system this is just for new people that has nothing uh, altered to their FFmpeg or anything like that Okay. <clears throat> so that being said we're gonna go install it now now first you need to do is um, install the repo or the source list okay right here you're gonna copy this line okay this whole line and you're gonna open your um, uh, software sources and you're gonna add it in so you add and you see this thing and you paste that line in and uh, save it and it's gonna refresh it and the next thing you want to do is install Kden Live with your Synaptic Package Manager. <clears throat> All you gotta do is search for it, Kden Live, and they ask you some other packages like uh, Fearer, or you can use the the terminal and paste the you know all the shit in. It's much faster if you want to do that. sudo so apt get install, all that shit. Okay. <clears throat> and what it will do is um, it will install a new FFmpeg. So it's gonna get rid of your old one, and it's gonna install the you know KDN Live thing. And when you open uh, your KDN Live, it's gonna look like this, right? <clears throat> now you see the layout is almost identical to uh, all the ones that you've been using before. If you used one before, like uh, Windows Movie Maker, Sony Vegas, Adobe Premiere, and After Effects. You see the timeline here. You have your um, what is this? Your workspace, all your shits that you uh, loaded up. Uh, your preview window and they also have this um, this cool one the history the undo history thing uh, if you use Photoshop before you see like uh, you know all your history of whatever you did and as you do like like a lot of stuff and you say oh you know what I messed up I just click on it and you go back to where you were at that point in time so I like about that they do have that and they do have some effects okay audio effects or video effects <clears throat> so overall, um, it's stable. Now I do, I, I did experience some crashes, and I'm gonna tell you what they are. Okay. First of all, if you're playing this video, like this clip right here, right, doesn't really matter. If you're playing the clip, right, and you're also sliding it, uh, chances are you're gonna crash. So don't do that. If you're gonna preview, then preview, but don't preview and then slide your shit, cause. Uh, that's the only crash that I've seen. That's one of them. Now in the rendering, <coughs> if you render in here, right, uh, make sure that uh, your project, right, this whole project here, starts from zero zero, okay? Because if you start somewhere over here, like uh, you know, over here, and later in the in the timeline. It's not gonna render, or it's probably gonna crash or freeze. That's just what I experienced with it. Now I'll go into this maybe later, okay? And how to uh, move your whole project and all that shit. But overall, this is how it looks like. Now um, I say it's uh, recommended by me now, okay? And uh, when I render it, you saw my other video. It it did it fine, okay? So yeah, uh, that's how you actually get it. Uh, I might do more tutorials like you know basic stuff because I'm not really uh, big on video editing but I do like to use it for basic stuff like you know a little sound with the video because I do make uh, anime music, music video on my other account and uh, I haven't done it in a while because I moved to Linux and I don't really have a good video editing program but now that I do I, I'm probably going to start doing it again 
So that's what I uh, recommend for you guys to do if you need one of this. Kaden Live 0.7. It's good. Dig it.